Yo, yo, yo. What it do, what it do, man. Back one time for your mizzine. One time for your mind. I'm going to the gym to do some some more uh, cardio, hit cardio to be exact. Some of my boxing routines, man, coming straight to you guys, man. Just, these days, I just want to flip it up, switch it up, man, and, and just tap more into like more of my self-defense background and just kind of assist people with really confidence, being confident and certain that they can protect themselves, especially the fellas. You know, we got women out here that we taking out on dates and you know how niggas and shit is, man. They want to try you when you with your girl. So therefore, you know, hopefully you don't have to like defend yourself. But if you do, you'd be confident to tap into some of these fitness drills that I bring into you guys on my channel. I'm gonna still bring you guys all the other calisthenics and uh, strength training, but I'm tapping more into like my self-defense background. So that way, you know, you can stay competitive, have that competitive edge, man. You gotta remember, you are your own executive protection detail, period. You know, ladies, y'all gotta understand that when you with your dude, the reason why he flexing on you in terms of like what you wearing and how many niggas and shit you talking to while y'all out, it's because he's a de facto security guard for you, executive protection agent. A lot of women don't see see that far into it, man. So we gotta be a little bit more smart, ladies, other than just being a little shallow when it comes to men doing what they do. It's not that they are insecure, they're trying to control everything, you know. It's not always that. It's more about protecting, you know, something that they invest in their time and their body and their spirit to, you know, the spiritual elements of love. If a guy really feeling you, he's investing that energy towards you. So we need to get back into respecting each other on that regard, you know? So I did a video yesterday about the red pill. I said, I've been hearing about that a lot. I talk to fellas out here and the more I observe the, the uh, dating space, especially here in Atlanta, the more I can see why they, they created it. You know, the feminist movement created the red pill movement and and round and round we go. We got this this, this dumbass pendulum. And I'm gonna tell you guys, if you if you lay it out on the table, whether it's a feature or a flaw, a lot of the shit that we're doing to each other in the dating space is more of a flaw than a feature. We didn't got it to the point of where it's so toxic that you know you might well just be out here just like looking for prostitutes. And all they want is for you to take them out to dinner. You know, it's all transactional. There's no love in that. You know, so. Me as a fitness coach, I bring you guys tips on how to get the body right. But while we're doing all that, we're doing it because we want to look good. We want to get in shape and healthy. But let's just be honest, let's be a thousand. Most people out here doing this so that way they can um, get themselves in the graces of a partner, mate, you know, have sex, have kids. I don't want to hear none of that lying. No, oh, stop it. You know, let, hey. Especially the women. Go on Instagram and TikTok right now and look at all the women out there that's butt booty naked, buns out, you know what I'm saying, on social media. First trapping brothers. You know, so we don't want you know that's a form of communication. So you're communicating the lust after you ladies. Just to find out that when guys are trying to approach you, you stiff on them and say men just want to lust after me. I'm like, we just went in a circle. If you putting that thing out there don't expect to get nothing other than the thing you're putting out there. You gotta get back into like really understanding character. You know, I share tips on, on my clients on how to work on the body so that way they can invest in themselves and build that level of attraction, attraction, attractiveness up. Because let's not forget, the central market places like sales, you're in the sales game. It's all it's all competition. You know, and, and the fellas, you can't you, you can't be too shallow to just looking at fat asses either. You got these women out here thinking, oh, I can just go get a BBL surgery. Men don't like fake asses and BBLs, ladies. I just want you to know. The only guys that like that is just the guys that smashing, hitting, and, qu and, and quitting. There's always gonna be some guys out here trying to trying to fuck, you know? So don't get the guys who's lusting after you because you got that BBL or you know somebody who got the BBL. Don't get that twisted with a husband material type of guy. Guys are still traditional in that regard. They want a soft, natural woman that was born a woman. You know, like we said, we live in a time now, man, where it's like everything, yeah, like what's, what's right is wrong is what's wrong is right. 
damn. I can only imagine what the next generation is gonna be like. Yeah, but that's the thing is, man, in a nutshell, investing in yourself. Investing in yourself so that way you can get out here, you can catch you a mate. Ladies, if you feel if you feeling like you uh, are running on hard times with men because you you packed on some weight, then tap into my channel, man. Tap into my video. We can do some some fitness stuff to kind of help you get that weight off you. It's same with the men, getting those 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 pudginess and stuff, but you know, around the midsection and stuff. Like men, men out here be struggling too, you know. So that's what I'm here for because it's all funneling back to the dating space, the red pill, the blue pills, and how many other pills there is out here and stuff. You know, all these podcasts about dating and relationships, the first thing first, man, invest and work on yourself. You know, I'm a firm believer that when you're stepping out on the scene, you've invested in yourself, you, in your mind, you know, your, your physical, the way you look, and then the spiritual too, because the spiritual is going to bring the same energy back towards your way, the law of attraction. You have to attract the women that you want to, you fellas, not chasing. The world has been lying to you, talking about when we got to go ahead and chase, chase tail. I've been there. I've been a sucker for that. But what what tends to work best for me is like that girl who just loved me. She's a, she's interested. She's texting me. She calling me. You know, uh, I can be myself with her because she's attracted to me because I've manifested that, that level of attractiveness by investing into myself. Not just my body, but you gotta remember, like people, you know, wanna see some visual candy too, man candy. But then the things I offer, my character, you know, I'm very well put together, no baggage, like I said before. And if a woman is put together and focused and not distracted, she will see that through and through. And that she knows she got a valuable type of brother in me. That's how I look at it. I hear chasing women that don't want you, trying to wear them down, buy them roses and flowers, texting them, they ain't texting you back. Cut that shit out. That's the reason why a lot of women has been pedestalized and they got these egos the size of Texas and stuff because they think niggas is just thirsty because most niggas is chasing women that don't even want them, man. And get the girl that likes you, man. Just jump, just naturally. She likes you because you're funny. She likes you because you're you. But she likes you because you're, you're corny. You know? Whatever the case may be, is, man, it's called being, you know, equally yoked and having chemistry. Whatever happened to chemistry, man? And charisma, fellas, you know, and ladies, the art of seduction. If you like a guy, playing hard to get, at least give him some clues that he's getting closer to the to the prize. That way, it can be a little dance, you know. If you want a guy to chase you and not feel like damn, she's like stoic than a motherfucker. I don't know if she really liked me or not. Stone face and she ain't laughing and none of my jokes and shit. Y'all let y'all doing it wrong. Your parents and stuff is not grooming their girls to be wives. Fathers are not grooming their boys to be husbands. Everybody just out here just skipping that lesson and just going straight to fucking and manipulating and finessing people. That's why we got all these podcasts of men and women hating each other back and forth like this pendulum, this ping pong table type shit, man. Hey, it's 2024, man, the year of revelation. This shit got to stop. Or else we're going to become extinct. But you know you're gonna have just women just like you know, men competing with women for the women. Like they got this whole sisterhood thing going on and now they just, they all on dates with each other. Like if you really think about it, there's a lot of women out here in Atlanta. You, you go to brunch, day parties, so it's just everywhere. It's just So they slick. If you really stop back and look at it, they all on dates with each other, man. You might have a couple of gay niggas and shit sprinkled up, sprinkled up in there, you know. You know they always gotta like be around some of them, some of them type of cats. And I'm not bashing nobody. I'm just saying this is the things that I see. I've seen it en en enough to like start to share it and talk about it. So it's not this. Oh, I saw that one time, and then now I'm gonna make a video about it. No, I've seen it enough and been quiet about it for like years. I just been posting fitness stuff because I'm a fitness coach. But at the same time, man, we have other problem sets in Atlanta that we need to address. So I'm just gonna tap in and address it because there's a lot of men out here who see all these beautiful women and just want a, just a general girlfriend, man. Wife up. You know, we used to talk about wife and chicks up, man. And women used to want that. They used to want men that want to wife them up. Us, it's us versus them dynamic, man. Like, so we got to get back to our nature. There's certain things and characteristics, ladies, that men do is because it's in our biological nature. Fellas, 
There's a lot of things that women do because of their biological nature. Now let's look at the, the, the world we live in. The world we live in has poured, poured so much poison and demonic energy into the, into, the, into the pot that a lot of people are emotionally unavailable, emotionally unbalanced. So we're now operating at our fullest potential based off of um, having sound judgment and knowing how to really court and pursue one another in the, in the marketplace. All we're doing is just taking shots at each other, man. I've seen so many years of uh, good intentions, Facebook groups, all this like black love, this, black people getting together that. And I'm like, okay, that's a good idea. That's dope. Let me go in here and find me, find me a little shorty on here, man. And we can kind of have a good conversation, see if the chemistry is there. We can investigate it further on dates. Shit don't even get past social media. You got like a hundred comments because somebody had asked a stupid question. And now you got this gender war shit all over again. So for everything that we create to try to bond us and get us back together, that's corruption. This shit right here, it's like we living in the fucking twilight zone, you know, so. But nevertheless, man, keep going, keep growing, man, because that's what it's all about. All you can control is you. Ladies, you can control is you. But don't get too neurotic to where you lose the whole point of this whole thing. And I know some of you gonna like try to kid yourself and say, well, nah, I just wanna be single or my cat or my dog and you know, I'm good. No, you're not, because you're not it's not in your nature to be content and good. That's why you get the dog and the cats and the birds and all this stuff. Because you're biologically wired to nurture. So if you can't nurture something, you're gonna fucking start acting batshit crazy. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's okay to admit that. Just like the 12 step program for Alcoholics Anonymous, the first step to recovery is admitting that you have a problem and you need help. Everybody has a problem in some somewhere in their life. You know what I'm saying? But we have to admit that we are flawed. Women are flawed in their process of elimination with men. You know, they say what they want, but they end up still choosing the the, 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 the fucking most bottom barrels niggas and shit out here. The guy that they say they ain't gonna get with, they end up pregnant by. Most women that I dated who had kids, I was a better catch. They baby dads was like the typical shit that you see on paper, like the guys, the pookies and the ray rays that they say they want to stay away from. So it's like you're saying one thing, but you're procreating with the other thing. And ladies, don't let the good guy slip by making him wait and say, well, I'm gonna I'm I'm get into the, I'm gonna jump into the sheets with the guy that don't matter quicker because it's just about sex with him. And I'm gonna make the good guy wait. Don't you think that's the most asinine shit ever? Because guess what? You let the guy who don't matter keep pounding you out. I'm talking about pounding you out real good, man. You're going to blow them clubs up. And you're going to be having that nigga baby, man. Look at, like, pay attention to patterns. This is chess, not checkers, man. So I'm only here to help you guys just like I started out trying to help you guys um, from a personal training perspective. That personal training um, conversation since 2018, 2019, when I got out of the military, I started doing motivational videos here motivational videos there nutritional videos here we dancing around the big elephant in the room we getting fine it's all outdoors sexy handsome i know i am you know but you still can't you know connect with nobody in the marketplace so that's the only reason why i'm doing these videos is because some brother out there can relate ladies you got to understand like use your intuition there used to be a time where they said women had, had a higher degree of intuition than, than, the, than the fellas, even though we all have our sixth sense to be able to resonate the energy to discern what's right and what's wrong and what's good for us and what's bad for us. A lot of women just saying like, they're just not using that. What they're doing, they're listening to these other toxic podcasts with these all-girl panels or their homegirls and stuff who've been through, who've been ran through, ragged out. They listen to all that advice. I had a chick, I, I, I was like trying to get to know, I met her, you know, at a store and she was from Florida and she was like, you know, we got a little small talking, yo, how you doing, you know, I like your hair, how you doing, like, day's a pretty day, what, what you got going on, what's your name? And then she was like, we was talking and then she said, like, I just moved here from Florida and my friends told me to like, kind of watch out for me and here in Atlanta. So, I never got a number. When she said that, I already knew I wasn't going to be able to talk to her and stuff like that, man. You know, I tried to get her number. She was like, no. Nah. 
because she's listening to all these friends. Now, granted, there's crazy, strange people out here in Atlanta, but you have to use your own discretion. Stop, stop being a follower. Stop being a follower in this mass herd mentality, ladies. You know, never have I ever seen like a time where a lot of women are just like got their head in the sand and just listen to what other women say and run with it. It makes men feel like we're just like wolves out here. Like, like we trigger you guys. You don't, you don't, you don't do this to no other type of guys other than your own kind. And then women that say, well, men are doing the same thing to their own kind. It's like, okay, we in this riddle now. We locked into this riddle. What came first, the chicken or the egg? The bottom line is this. Both parties are doing it to each other. Regardless of who started it and kicked it off first, we don't care about getting legs back. But it's like spiteful, demonic energy. I mean, you got licked back from all the years we was oppressed. When really the oppression came from white men. You know what I'm saying? So now somehow it kind of morphed into black men trying to, you know, make more than women and put women in, 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 in on her knees, scrubbing the floors in the kitchen. But let's just get past the cold approach and exchanging numbers before we start talking about this 50-50 shit. This cooking dinner for you. There's no cat out here that's really for real about coming home and just want his girl to be slaved up, barefooted and pregnant, like cooking his stuff, washing the feet. So ladies, don't think men is just reducing this whole ordeal down to that, man. Let's just get past the like the, the, the podcast beefs. You know, let's just have a conversation, man. You know, we can handle the other stuff. You know, I'm a, I'm a man of many talents, man. As long as I got me a good shorty, man, she 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 ride or die. We got chemistry. We love to just laugh and uh, do stuff, man. All that she better cook for me or else. Or uh, I ain't never been in a relationship to why I demand a woman to do that. Most of the time, I'm the one cooking. As long as she providing other things and we happy with each other, man, who, who gives a shit, man? We overcomplicate the simple things that's supposed to be natural. So, enough of that, man. Tap in, drop a comment, man. This is right here, just round two of the video I dropped yesterday about did women uh, curate the red pill? You know, I need more comments. I need more engagements, man, on this, man. In the meantime, man, let's get fit. Stay in shape, man, so we can attract that, that, that future wife, fellas. You know, and ladies, take heed. I'm not taking a shot at you guys because trust me, you know, uh, I do understand there's a lot of crazy cats out here, man. But, you know, I'm just trying to help trying to help and we got to stop this adversarial approach all right see you guys in a minute peace